the moment i saw that it was stolen my heart broke but i had to do something about it what's up what's up youtube um first things first um, the reason i haven't uh, haven't uploaded a video since a week because uh, my bike battery was stolen right uh, right from where i parked my motorcycle um it's very funny to uh, hear but uh, for someone like me i love um, yes it's quite cliche to hear but uh, i really love my motorcycle so the moment i saw that it was stolen my heart broke but i had to do something about it so i have i've i've made a diy i got a diy uh, solution to it and i'm pretty sure it's it's going to be safe uh, going forward there won't be any problem of uh, getting my battery stolen at least so i'm i'm pretty sure i'll be uploading a video about that uh, soon so this is the helmet uh, we'll be talking about this is the smk twister and uh, this is a very basic version it it comes with a matte black finish and uh, when you look at it 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 it's just like any other full face helmet but uh, there are there are uh, a few good things to it again guys first things first i'm not being paid or i'm not promoting a brand here so don't take me otherwise uh, this these uh, gear vlogs these uh, reviews are just to just to um, just to present my opinion out there so if you guys have any questions uh, anything to say about what i am uploading on my channel please feel free to comment or ask i will surely be able to help you out in that as far as um, the helmet goes it's a it's an smg twister uh, i bought it for 4000 rupees from karol bag from uh, chopra and uh, a few of its features are uh, it it has pin lock in it it has so it's it's not it's not just pin lock ready it it comes with a pin lock shield in it pin lock 30 uh, which for me is uh, is quite a good option i when i was buying it i did not know the actual uh, use of it so uh, i got to know it when i was in the situation where pin lock is required Uh, i will be able to show you guys i'm pretty sure if uh, any one of you has uh, watched the video of my jaisalmer trip uh, you would have seen a part where i was covered in uh, mist watery kind of thing so i rode uh, in that fog with this helmet and uh, it went quite great so i'm going to fuel up now I'm just looking for a fuel pump which is open and uh, will be serving me. As far as the helmet that I am using, SMK Twister, um, I must say uh, I I do not regret my choice. There are a couple of reasons behind it. First, uh, this helmet fits me uh, quite great, so I do not have to make any adjustments to it. make it fit i do not have to remove any any sort of padding or do, i do not have to add apart from being uh, stock fitting it comes with a great chin mount options so you can uh, it still has a vent on the chin so you will have to think about that uh, a couple of times before uh, getting the chin mount correct uh, i'll i'll show you a small uh, review of the the chin mount where i there i do to set it up and it works quite well for me you can see this um, the graphics and uh, the stickers are done by me so as per my personal need that's what i prefer so there are a lot of uh, amazing features about this helmet the very first one being 
uh, it comes pin lock ready if you guys can see it pin lock um, pin lock is the system uh, pin lock is an anti fog system basically so if there's an insert that's uh, that's put inside the shield the 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 vision shield that stops fogging to build up on the on the visor on the inside of the visor so there's an ins internal let me open it up for you internal goggles which are removable from this button on the side and there it's it's bluetooth ready so there is this small clip that you can take off and the helmet becomes bluetooth ready you just have to uh, put in the bluetooth device that you have it has a, a top intake system wherein if you can see these clips they open up and they let the air flow through and come out through these uh, these external exhaust vents these these vents that you can see here and uh, it, it helps keeping your head cool um, it basically helps in uh, long tours along with that this mouth visor helps a lot um, when you are riding long hours i've ridden on this helmet um, for a ride of uh, 700 kilometers or at a stretch it was quite comfortable it's a snug helmet uh, the inside of the helmet is um, just like any other good grade helmet um, quite comfortable and uh, quite sporty when you when you look at it from a distance so you can choose that way otherwise uh, choose where you like it if you like the side the view although it hinders uh, the view of the viewer that way you are not able to present whatever you are seeing If that if that goes with you, you can go with it. Otherwise, I would uh, suggest you going for a chin mount. Uh, that second, third is uh, the helmet comes with pin lock. Now let's talk about the market options available in this price budget uh, full face helmets. So you have LS2, you have LS2 matte black edition, and LS2 combat. Uh, they are just the names of uh, different prints you get on the LS2 helmets. Basically, they are all the same full face uh, helmets with the same shape. And uh, I've seen a lot of guys uh, using THH helmets. I don't know the performance of those helmets, but they look quite good. So I'm sure uh, the helmets are quite good. If any one of you guys who is watching or who are watching the video, if uh, you are using a THS helmet, please let me know how they work. I would love to buy one uh, in future if I get a chance. Uh, if you are one of those guys who can spend like uh, 11, 10,000 bucks, uh, go for a showy if it's available in that price budget. I'm not, uh, I would prefer to go for a budget plus functionality. Thing. This is a good uh, selling point because none of these helmets ls2 or uh, you go for any other helmet they do not come with they do not even come pin lock ready Le leave it being with coming with pin lock so they don't come pin lock ready the functionality of a helmet goes as uh, it, it must fit your head only just tight so that uh, it can it can be held at one place it doesn't move around when you're riding and uh, you feel comfortable in it as well along with that you can uh, view the things in front of you properly this helmet does it for me and here we go this is the morning sun guys although i can feel the heat but uh, and this is just about 3 6 in the morning that's that's how a uh, helmet is defined that's how the functionality of a helmet is defined